Hello again folks. Today's video is about the toughest, in my opinion, Wild Hunt boss, Imlurith. Of course I mean the Wild Hunt elves, not the game itself. Imlurith may be just a lieutenant, but his defenses and stunts make him arguably more difficult to beat than his lord, Aerodin. This is a two-phase fight with phase 1 lasting until you get Imlurith's health to about one third. This phase is more difficult than the second one. Imrurith has his huge shield up and uses it to block most attacks as well as to stun you. In order to get around that you have to follow a certain sequence, otherwise you will struggle like a pig with a pumpkin. First of all make sure you don't use roll in this phase. Don't roll, just dodge. Once you dodge his attack, follow up with two quick attacks, then immediately dodge again. If you do three quick attacks, he will stun you and then you're in trouble. Basically you have to get into this rhythm. Dodge, hit, hit, dodge, hit, hit and so on until you get to phase 2. If you make a wrong step, just wait until he starts another attack, dodge it and resume the sequence. Phase 2 is more simple even though Imlirith will be dealing more damage. He loses his shield and goes berserk. If you attack him while he is swinging his mace, you will regret it. This time use roll instead of dodge. You can see that I'm taking some hits because I'm not doing that. So keep rolling until his mace gets stuck in the ground. That's your window. Get to him and hit him as much as you can. He's defenseless for a few seconds until he gets his mace free. Rinse and repeat until Vesemir is avenged. While Imlirith is technically a humanoid, the game considers him an elemental, just like Aerodin. So if you have elemental oil, that's the one you should use here. Useful potions for this fight are Thunderbolt for the extra damage and White Raffert in case you need an insta heal. If you have enough toxicity for decoctions, I recommend Throw Decoction for regen and Water Hag and Catacan for damage. As for signs, this is one of the few fights where I would recommend using only one, and that sign is Quen. One more thing, and it's important. After the fight, stay there so you can loot Imlirith's body. You will find one of those magic acorns the peasants mentioned. Giving it to them will have no story impact whatsoever. Instead of that, you can eat it and get two ability points, which is great. If you found this video helpful, you might want to subscribe for more. Good luck and thanks for watching.